warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our beloved lecturer and my fellow friends. Today we had to Zakat Melaka as our institution to do some research and I'm going to introduce you guys what is Zakat Melaka is. Zakat Melaka Center established in 1996 before that all the management are handled and run by counter Zakat Berkomputer. Islamic Religious Kursi Melaka MAIM uh, through Pusat Zakat Melaka was consigned to carry out the hair management professionally to collect and distribute zakat by effective and systematic and suitable with objective to make zakat as catalyst Muslim world economy in state of Malacca. Before PZM established, all related matter with zakat run by Lebaga Wakaf, Zakat and by Tulmai. MAIM which the job scope are more focused to manage uh, and distribute based on enactment pentadbiran hukum syarak negeri Melaka 1959 there is four branch uh, that locate at Alor Gajah Melimau Jasin and Masjid Tanah PZM that responsible to collect the payment of the zakat zakat Melaka also promise you that they will treat you in 10 minutes. Zakat Melaka also promised uh, the payers name and the data of the payers will be private and never be exposed to anyone. They also provide other services like online payment and they follow the hukum syara in professional way. The basic things that Zakat service already did are welfare needs, which is known as a financial help, retirement, retirement service, and etc. Zakat is a good deed that has been taught in pillars of Islam that train Muslim in charity where means when you giving something to someone in need without any special purpose. The charity will bring out the gratitude of all giving that we had because Sometimes we are really put ourselves in gratitude. So this is will make someone uh, always feel enough and blessed. Because Allah want us uh, Allah want to train us not to be bound by the love and possession of wellness. Pusat Zakat Melaka is established with a vision to become the top of zakat organization in Malaysia. And among the objectives are two the first one is provide comfort to the Muslim community in order to increase the collection of zakat and the number of payers. Second is to ensure that every customer gets service within 10 minutes of its zakat payments transaction. Pusat Zakat Melaka also have a mission. The first is to implement the zakat collection method in a prudent, professional, efficient and systematic manner based on the Islamic law. The second is strengthen professional networks with agent or amin which means zakat collectors appointed to zakat management. The third is to ensure customer complaints are resolved within 14 days. The third is um, encourage and increase the consciousness and awareness of the Muslims to pay zakat through the distribution of zakat information. In the creation of a society, it is a concern with fellow human beings. And the last one is emphasize the concept of transparent management and embrace the world culture as a worship in instilling the confidence of the Muslim community towards Zakat administration in Melaka. Okay, before I go more further, uh, I want to give some news about Zakat Melaka. On 24 April 2020, on Friday, uh, the star has said uh, Melaka Zakat doing Zakat Melaka during MCO uh, doing a Zakat door by door which means that way is the best way during the MCO 
because as we know during MCO all of us cannot go to mosque to pray and so on okay okay so now we go to the how the institution contribute to economic and the social affairs and so on okay firstly we must go to the purpose the purpose is very related to the how the institution contribute to economy and social affairs okay firstly the purpose is purpose of zakat purpose of quality zakat firstly is how is help who does in needs especially single mom orphan and the poor so that they can celebrate at mubarak if they have a good one and with their beloved one with cheerful and joyful moments the so they can enjoy the moment and then after collecting the card and give the money this there are no more starving people and so on okay now we go to the next point which is the guidelines to collect zakat during MTO okay firstly uh, the CEO center Dato Ibrahim Fazil said 194 zakat administrators will visit home to collective and the like the orphan single mom and the who in needs zakat they will provided with face mask and hand sanitizer uh, to fight the pandemic COVID-19 okay. okay and then if people are facing problem in to connect to their online service they will provide us uh, the second way with, which is conventional way which is Melaka Zakat Center has provided to dispatch their Zakat collect Zakat that has been collect to the who in needs okay. The main purpose of the research is to understand the effectiveness of Zakat in reducing poverty and income inequality among the poor in the state of Melaka the effectiveness of Maim's zakat on distribution is measured by Pearson Correlation, Headcount Poverty Index, Laurent Curve, and Coefficient Kini. Islamic, re Islamic Religious Council of Malacca is an institution responsible to manage collection and distribution of the Zakat Fund in the state of Malacca. The finding of the research show that Zakat distribution has transformed 30% of Fakir into a miskin and expelled 10% of poor out of the poverty limb. Thus, this study strongly proved that Zakat distribution can solve the poverty problem in the state of Melaka. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and salam sejahtera to all of you. Okay, now let's continue with the conclusion. I'm going to share with you guys about the challenge faced by the Zakat institution in Malaysia. Okay, the first and a very common challenge in Malaysia is Malaysian knowledge, knowledge level toward what is Zakat actually about. What they only know is Zakat fitrah is something they need to settle or pay before performing the adult pity prayer. Actually, there are several types of zakat such as zakat on earning, zakat on saving, zakat on farming, zakat on EPF, and some more. Some Malaysian has initiative to Google it and do some dishes, or maybe they call the zakat institution itself. But majority of them still with no action and end up in, they never pay zakat. There are some Malaysia thought that there are so many zakat they need to pay but actually not all kind of zakat they liable or need to pay according to the law. 
Okay, secondly, the trust issue among the Malaysian with the zakat institution. Okay, over the years, zakat institution has recorded very low level of collection. As a result of many factor, what sum up that is uh, that to be a lack confident, lack confident in zakat institution by several zakat payer. In this point, I think zakat institution itself need to overcome this problem by maybe they maybe they can present the level of collection and present the level of zakat that already contribute to asnaf and last but not least this is the very main important i think this is the very unhealthy competition because uh, the the unhealthy competition happen in malaysia all uh, all state zakat they compete between themselves this is a true event that happened in malaysia where zakat institution of police give 50% of rebate to the zakat payer from uh, back to the payer so from the action majority of malaysian decided to pay zakat at police instead of pay zakat at their own hometown so police get high collection of zakat compared to other state this kind of action very unhealthy because asnaf asnaf uh, on police will get many benefit but not asnaf on other state that's all from that's all from us thank you